All right, so we have our borders separated from the background, right? Two separate layers. Uh, what we want to do now is we want to save it. So go ahead and click Save. All right, and we're going to go to After Effects. So I already have my After Effects open, so I'm going to go down here, click After Effects. Um, so we need two things. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop and I'm going to crop my image because I don't need it to be this large. I can make it this large, but I don't really need it to be that large. So I'm going to crop out these shadows down at the bottom. I'll make it a little bit more. Um, uh, it's still I still have it uh, longer than it is wide, but I'm cropping out those shadows and I'm making this a little bit smaller so that when I open it in After Effects, it's not such a, a large picture. So I'm going to click check mark. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image at the top of my screen and I'm going to go down to canvas size. All right. So once you click on canvas size, what we're going to do is we're going to change our inches to pixels because we're doing it in After Effects, which is for screens. So it's no longer for print. Inches would be for print. Pixels are for um, screens. So this says 26, 24. So I'm just going to copy that, Control C or right click, copy. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go to After Effects. I'm going to say New Composition. And this is where I'm going to put those numbers. So 26, 24 right there. And for the height, let me go back to the height. So I'm going to paste it in right here. I'm going to make sure that it says uh, this is unlocked. Locked aspect ratio is off. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to go back here, 3169. 3169, so 3169. All right, and I'm going to title my composition. I'm going to title it Skate Border Para Parallax. All right, Skate Border Parallax. And 20 seconds, I don't probably need 10, 20 seconds. I'm going to lower that to uh, 10 seconds. And I'm going to click OK. All right, so there's my page. So next thing what I'm going to do while I'm in After Effects, so I see my skateboard uh, file over here, Parallax Composition, that's what I just created. I'm going to go right click, and I'm going to say Import File. So I'm going to click Import File, or you could go to File and go to Import, either one. Um, so what I want to do is I want to find my um, my skateboarder that I just created. Let's go back. Where did I save this? File, save. So, import, file. Let's see if this one's right now. No, but it's not right. All right, so here's my file. So what I want to do is I want to import it as a composition. The, the interface on a PC looks a little bit different, but you want to make sure it says import as composition. And we're going to click open. We want editable layers. We don't want to merge them all into one layer. So we're going to click open again. OK. All right. And now I have another file. So I have my original skateboarder composition file. And I have two Photoshop files. Those two Photoshop files are what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to drag in the first one, which is the background. I'm going to drag it down to um, my uh, down to the bottom, my layers, and then I'm going to grab my second file, my skateboarder, drag it down to the layers as well. So I have my border and my border. So I'm going to make sure they're in the right order. You can click and drag them so that they show up correctly, right? So skateboarder, background, right? So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating my parallax effect. So one thing that, um, because we did this exactly to the size of our photo, we're going to have to change the background a little bit to make it so that we can move it a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the background first. I'm going to click transform and open up all my points. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click my scale stopwatch. And I'm going to increase my scale just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe I'm going to go to 115. All right. And 115 by 115. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a few seconds in. So I'm at three seconds now. 
Actually, no, I'm going to go to five seconds. All right, and then I'm going to click another point. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce it back to 100. And it's probably quicker to just type that in. 100. All right, so if we look at our, our image, it zooms out, goes back into 100. And what I also want to do is I want to set my position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on position now. And right here, I'm going to click my first point. And I'm going to come over here, click my second point. And I'm going to adjust my position. Remember, all we have to do to adjust it was just grab it. I'm just going to, oops. Actually, yeah, let's do it the other way. So, so at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift it over. So, so as it as it reduces, it'll go this way, and your background should be moving in the opposite direction of your foreground image. So I'll click like this, and it slowly comes back to the main frame, right? So I got my background done, and I'm gonna do some other things on this later on, but now I'm gonna go to my border, uh, and you know, I had some keys that I want you to use. So P is for position, um, Command S, oops, no, not Command S, Shift S is for a scale. So those two things, if you wanna click on those real quick, you can do those, um, or you can go to uh, the transform as well. Either one will work. So for my position, I'm going to click right here uh, of my skateboarder. So I'm going to click my first point, and I'm going to drag it five seconds, four, five, and I'm going to move my skateboard a little bit. So I'm going to click the next point, and I think my background was moving to the right, so I'm going to move my skateboarder to the left. right and it's subtle right and again I'm gonna change my scale again so I want it to be small and when I get to five seconds I want it to be just a little bit larger so I'm gonna go uh, one I did 115 last time but I'm gonna go 110 let's see how that is And this might be moving a little bit too much. So I'm gonna go back to this point right here, <clears throat> go back to my position. Um, I think I moved it a little bit too far. All right, uh, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna put a rotation on there. Um, Shift R, rotation. And at this point, I'm gonna go back to my zero point, zero. All right, so. So it's just getting a little bit bigger and zooming in. All right, so if I hit play. So I have 10 seconds. I can extend this a little bit more. So all the way back to 10 seconds so I'm gonna go to about nine and let's see how it looks all right so the border stops so what I got to do the background stops so what I'm gonna do is to the background I'm gonna open the background back up and I'm gonna click these points and move them over to let's go move this to nine and move these points over to nine. And this is pretty much my parallax. You can continue adding different effects to it. 
to make it look a little bit even more exciting but essentially this is all so it just it creates this like nice motion 3d effect right um, and depending on how long you, you want this to be we're going to be putting these into newsletters so maybe this is a 30 second motion you know that we just keep um, expanding on and changing a little bit um, and then it just plays in the newsletter so it'll just play for 30 seconds in the newsletter and hopefully by that time someone will be able to read the caption and then move on to the next one it'll be we're, I want you to save this as a gift so we're gonna go file export and we're gonna go add to media render encoder queue render encoder queue and um, you're gonna export it as a gif so you're gonna take all those images and then you bring them into Photoshop and save them as a GIF. Okay, so I'll do that in the next video.